So here we go, launching into the first real-life match between Alex TT Barcelona and Peter Khan. I'm Enigma, I'm joined by Sulik. How are you doing, Sulik? I'm great, I'm great. I'm actually looking forward to how how do their skill transfer to between real life and, and VR. I want to see if I will see the players that I see in VR. Yeah, exactly. See whether any of those kind of uh, habits and tendencies and play styles come across. Exactly. For anyone who doesn't know, Pitakan is the player closest to us from this camera angle and uh, Alex is over on the other side of the table. You might be shocked that he doesn't have a cat head, but uh, that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. <laughs> that's the first big difference between uh, real life and VR. Yeah, you get to see the body. Like, that's, that's actually a big difference, I think. Like, being able to see how someone's moving their whole body, not just their hand and their head. Ooh, lovely block there. Great great placement by Pitta Khan. Exactly. And so these guys, they're going to play uh, one match in real life and then they're going to continue in VR, I believe, is the format, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's true. It's best of three matches, but the first match is played in real life because obviously it takes a bit longer to play in real life and then they play two matches. In, like, hopefully two matches. Yes, yeah, hopefully for the person who yeah. lost in real life. <laughs> But the first difference that I would, I would say that I see is that you can see that they have a lot of backspin on the serves, even though like you could see that now Alex served a backspin sidespin serve, you could feel the backspin on the, on the return from Pirikan. Mm. And I, I think it doesn't transfer that well yet to VR. Yeah, 100%. And also when those serves land, just the way the ball reacts with the table is just not quite the same, is it? The physics aren't a hundred percent accurate yet in eleven, but uh... Ooh, Ooh, wow, very uh, nice. That's something that I, I think I have seen it a couple of times in VR. I think I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alex's forehand definitely carries across both mediums, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I believe it's uh, five apiece right now. Oh, and. <laughs> Peter Khan funky gets happened. one on the serve, yeah. Maybe uh, some grit on the table or the ball, perhaps? I don't know. Still, he'll take it. He's a point ahead now. Wow. Wow. Sick rally. That was amazing. Yes, and Alex still won that point. Great difference by him. Great, great yeah. difference. Absolutely amazing. Again, very tight from both players. Very, very consistent. They've obviously played uh, a lot more in real life than they have in VR, but uh, still interesting to see. Yeah, but I think that right now with the COVID, I would say that they have spent at least during the last year, they've spent more time in VR than in real life. That's a good point. Absolutely, yeah. In recent times, it's not quite been the same. Closely matched, though. Seven all so far in this game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Fitikon tries to go around the post there. Yeah. Doesn't quite manage it. But that spin from Alex was absurd. Like, it just came off the table and completely changed and took off. And as we can see, the, the tempo of the play is a bit slower in real life than in VR. Because you have to actually collect the ball, then you have to get ready again. Get, you have to get in the position, like, it takes a bit longer. Yeah, absolutely. Some would say one of the uh, benefits of VR, not having to do what Alex is doing now, walk over and get the ball, especially when you've lost the point. It's kind of like, it feels like a punishment that you have to go get the ball as well. Yeah, but at the same time, I would say that in, in uh, real life, you have a bit more time to actually reflect on what, what went wrong in the last rally. Mm. Like, what can you do better? You can just prepare yourself mentally for the next rally. Like, you can just uh, figure out the plan. What do you want to do? And in VR, like, for now at least, most of the matches, the tempo is a bit too high. People just don't take time between the points. 
Yeah, for sure. And you can see as well, obviously, because these players know each other very well and the, it's a friendly match, they're uh, discussing some of the points as well in between points. So, uh, Pitakan's got game point here, though. 10-8 up. Alex trying to defend. See what he's got. Oh, nice. Pitakan couldn't quite keep that one on the table. So, another chance here. Otherwise, it will be a tie break. Ooh, we could hear the oh, edge. Yeah. Wow. Once it worked for him because we could hear that the edge, like the ball didn't hit the ball like cleanly, but uh, mm -hmm. it was not a clean hit. But the second one. Great to see as well in real life. Obviously, they have the space. We always talk about yes. the play space that you have in VR, but we're seeing both these guys get really far away from the table on some of these rallies, so that's always exciting. Yeah, and we could see another great rally. We could see that was the surf had some backspin as well, again. And we could see the return, like, it kind of went and pushed the surf, and it, it went low over the net. It didn't just... Uh, Go very high as it would in VR. Wow! Wow! Ooh, that counter, crucial as well to save the game. Yeah, this was just crazy. He anticipated the the place where the ball will land, and he just went for the counter. Mm. Worked out though. So now he's serving tied up again at eleven. Ooh! It was a very good return by Pitikan. He brought, he brought Alex a bit closer, and Alex didn't expect that. He was already a bit too late. Yeah, yeah, he was he was kind of caught in the wrong position, yes. wasn't he? Ended up just scooping it high. Oh, but they're tied up again. 12 apiece. This has been a great first game. Yeah, Ooh, in the end, placement. we have two really good real-life players. Wow, wow. Oh. Didn't work for Pitikan, but uh, that was a nice counter rally. No doubt. And even before that, the, the placement of the forehand out to the corner was very, very good. Obviously, Alex a left-hander, so it makes things a little bit different. Ooh. <laughs> Pitikan with the confidence to really attack that, even though it being game point. Tied at 13, then. You see, again, it was a really good return from Pitikan. Yeah, look at that. Very, very strong. Just pushing Alex further and further away from the table, forcing him to defend, right? It's, yeah. uh, he took the initiative and he just then let it go. Mm, for sure. But once again, <laughs> we're tied up. Hopefully their uh, scorecards go high enough for this game. Ooh, Ooh, this time uh, misread the, the spin. Mm. Oh, wow. Alex gets the job done there. Finally, 16-14. That was an amazing first game. I hope all the games are going to be like this. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. This is actually really exciting. It's going to be really interesting as well to see psychologically whoever wins this first match in real life, how that then carries over into VR. Could be really interesting. I've noticed as well um, the uh, the stance that uh, Pitakan takes when he serves, you know, kind of side on, almost with one leg against the side of the table. I would always be afraid to do that because I think as I step round, I'm just going to uh, catch myself in a delicate area on the corner. <laughs> But this is how most of the real life players just stand when they serve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm learning something too. <laughs> that's actually the Ooh. thing that you don't see this in VR because you can't see the full body, but that's how you can see Alex. He's also standing like mm -hmm. he has table on his side. Ooh. Oh, Pitikan holds his hand up. Did he catch a, a yes, shade of net yes, there? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, he did. Just fast top spin. But I think the biggest difference that we can see so far is the speed of the ball. 
Yeah, absolutely. That's the probably the number one thing that real life players notice when they come to VR is that uh, it's almost like you're not underwater, but everything's kind of just a little bit slower, isn't it? Whereas in real life, you can really get that that fast, fast movement of the ball. It feels much more reactive off the paddle. If you play a really fast shot in real life, everyone can see that it was a really fast shot. But in VR, mm. sometimes you have to tell people, yeah, th this was really fast. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it was a good block from Alex to yeah, sh shot before. I, I actually but just... thought that he had the upper hand after that block because the block was mm. really good. Just long Instead. this time. Oh, <laughs> we almost had a scoring malfunction there. <laughs> Ava Martinez sat there on the sidelines, a very, very strong player herself, but uh, on scoring duties for this match. And now Pity kind of with a big lead, 7-2, I mm. think. Could see a deciding game in the real-life portion. Oh, great rally, though. Wow, did Pity land, land that on the table? No, no it didn't. Yes. Alex's body was just in the way. I thought it had caught the edge for a moment. That would have been sensational. Ooh. Oh my goodness! That was clean. That was, that was very just clean. Absolutely perfect. Pitcar making a statement here. He's like, okay, I went one game down, but uh, don't write me off. I think this time the ball bounced not like he expected it to bounce. Mm. Because he was moving backwards and then he just had to come a bit closer again. Play. So I think something went wrong with the bounce. And again, this is one of the things that's really interesting watching real life play as opposed to what we see in eleven in VR is that because we can see the whole body, it's a lot easier to interpret when someone's been caught slightly out of position. Um, you can kind of see the whole picture and the whole movement in a way that uh, at the moment we can't quite get that level of detail in VR. Lovely forehand there from Alex though. Yes. This is a really good match. A really it's a good really match. good match. Yeah. yeah. Given the fact that they both had a long break from real life table mm. tennis and they played only in VR, it looks much, much better than I expected. Ooh. So much stretching and reaching in that rally. In the end, Alex sends it long. So 9 5, I believe, in favor of Pitakan, looking to tie up the first match. Oh, and he now has game points. Is it 5-10 or 3-10? I believe it's 5. Okay. Just a little bit of uh, glare, but it doesn't matter because it's now 11 to Pitakan. So yes. we're going to go to a deciding game. Players having a chat. Maybe uh, some mind games. <laughs> Seems like they're actually just discussing discussing the game, which is nice. You know, Alex is just saying, look, if you could just play like this, then it'd be a lot easier for me to win. Can you just like do it this way? I mean, he's like, oh, all these forehands, you know, I've seen better. I've I've seen a lot of better. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, Peter Khan actually a, a multiple-time world trickshot champion in table tennis, which is uh, something that until recently I didn't even know existed. But uh, you can check out one of Alex's previous videos uh, for some details on that. Very, very, uh, well, just mind-blowing stuff that Peter Khan can do with props and obstacles and all sorts of crazy things. Yeah, it's, really it's like the, the second time he won, it's it's just crazy. The trickshot is crazy. Like, crazy. Yeah just unbelievable is that the one where he puts it through one hole and then it like side spins behind yes, yes, a bit of wood yes. and then he plays the second shot yes it's just outrageous just outrageous so much skill and he's showing us here that it translates to the regular game as well he's not just a, a trick shot specialist he's a very very good table tennis player so alex serves in this deciding game oh goes for the placement it was a nice idea yeah, that was a cheeky idea that was a cheeky idea would have worked it would be really good yeah, he gets one on the serve though really nice side spin serve there <laughs> a 
let on the serve there from Pitzkan. Ooh, just can't quite loop it enough. Yeah, and you can see that he was just uh, showing himself the correct motion because he, <laughs> he knew what went wrong with the technique. Yeah. His forehand loop. Maybe Alex is telling him, you know, in VR that one would have gone in. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll find out in the next match. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. that forehand from Alex is such a weapon. Yes, but also the blocks from Pri from Pitikan were really good. He was just putting yeah. the ball all the time in Alex's body, but Alex, uh, his forehand is just really good. Yeah, and I, I dare say Again, it's kind of... Yeah, if Pitskan had found the table when he finally pushed it out wide, you know, it'd be hard for Alex to get over there yes. quick enough. But uh, Alex, quite long. He's got quite a reach on him, to be fair. So maybe he'd get there. Yeah, I, again, I thought it landed on the table, but it didn't. But Pitskan's body was in the way, so... Yeah, it was certainly must have been close. Looked like it. Ooh, Ooh, faster serve there. Catches Alex off guard. Still, though, healthy lead for Alex. I believe it's 6-2 uh, going into this point. Now 6-3. Ooh, great reach to make the forehand by Alex. More defense now from him. Ooh. Oh, he tries the chop from so deep. Yeah, Ooh. if this would have worked. It yeah, really, really good. It's a nice idea. Maybe not the best idea to win the point, but just for us, for yeah, the viewers, it would have. Yeah, it would look really good. <laughs> Definitely a nice exhibition shot if you'd been able to pull it off. Ooh, get surprised by the serve again. Yeah, and now it's five yeah. six, getting close again. Definitely. Maybe we'll be treated to a, a tie break in this first match. It is tied up at so. sixes. I love tie breaks. I love a tie break. Who doesn't love a tie break? Probably the two players who have to play it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alex with that big Ooh. side spin yes. on the serve. Really hard to handle. And again, a really good oh, return yes. from Pitikan. Really good. <laughs> Alex looked like he was jumping to try and make that backhand, but I think it was just for the cameras, that one. <laughs> it had gone well past him. Still nothing between these players. And now Alex's turn to push one long. It's interesting. I like that I can see that Ava there doing the scoring has already to turn over the points for Pitikan. <laughs> <laughs> she she lifts it up and has it prepared, but she doesn't do it for Alex's points. It's maybe the indication of who th she thinks is going to win. <laughs> no, I think I think she does it for both. Oh, has I, she got I, it for yeah, both? Yeah, I've seen many, ah, many okay. players who do that. They, they just oh, have yeah, points ready now. on both sides. So in case if one side wins the point they don't have to just try to separate the the cards yeah right? that makes sense that makes sense oh, i thought i'd spotted something interesting but <laughs> just exposing my own lack of knowledge about real life table tennis 10-8 now pitikan trying to claim this match oh and he just can't keep that one in only one point in it i said tie break didn't i like you know i'm just saying i called it Last chance for Pitikan to avoid that tie break and take this real life match before we move into VR. Oh, uh, he wanted ooh. to attack that. Oh, we do have a tie break. Seemed like Pitikan just uh, changed his mind there. There was one ball that it looked like he wanted to attack, and then he uh, just kind of took the foot off the gas a little. Oh, the little choppy backspin over the table. Alex is not close enough to it. Advantage to Pitikan. Serving for the match. Let's see what he's got. 
Oh my word. Um, well, the less said about that one, the better. He'll want to forget that serve. <laughs> yeah, this is not what you want to do. Especially in a tie break. Yeah, right? It's match point. <laughs> but now we're tied up again. Oh, and that side spin serve again. Alex just able to shovel under the ball so much there. Really hard to deal with. So it's now Alex who's got a chance to take the match. This couldn't have been much closer though. It's been a fantastic match, whichever way the result goes. Oh no, but another tie. Ooh. Another absolutely sizzling forehand from Alex there down the line this time. Pitikan can't control it. But I honestly we think that if Pitikan wants to win, then he has to win the real life match because I think Alex has the upper hand in VR. Could be, could be. He's managed to save that match point and they're now tied at 13s. We had a big tie break in the first game and we've been treated to another one in this last game. Oh, the net just carried that one over. That was so close. So, Pitikan now serving to save this tie break once again. And he does. He got the net there. Ooh, oh, wow, wow. what a clever, clever shot. Very, very nice tactic there. Yeah, this is the kind of outsmarted shot. Like, I have an idea in my mind, and then you're mm. like, oh, doesn't matter what you have in your mind. I, ju <laughs> I just read you like a book. <laughs> so, serving for the match then, Fitikan. No oh, way! No. Second time in this tiebreak. He might live to regret some of those mistakes. Oh, and again the net. It was a thick contact on the net, to be fair. But yes. Very, very close. The momentum swings back to Alex. His turn at match point. Oh, and, and a great wins. return there. He takes down this first match. So, going to be difficult for Pitikan now. As you say, Alex obviously has an awful lot of experience in VR. But uh, Pitikan's no slouch in either environment. And over we go to the arena. Pitikan starts us off. You can see already just some of the differences with how the ball moves. It is just a little bit slower, isn't it? It's yes. hard to kind of put your finger on what's different, but it's uh, it definitely feels and looks a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit slower, but you can see the first forehand from Pitikan. It's exactly what we see in real life. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's especially when you watch players in VR right after you've watched them in real life. You can definitely start to marry the two together and understand where the differences lie. Oh, that was a really nice forehand there. That just curved into the middle of the table. Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? You do see some of the same same styles and same approaches. Yeah, it's like the same pattern as in real life. Yeah. It's just... It looks... A tiny bit less dynamic. I think it's uh, the bounce on the table, mm. the the, the yeah, table and the and the ball. Like when the ball is bouncing, because you could see one forehand. Pitikan went three. Really, he really went for it, and the ball after it left his paddle, it went really fast. But when it's when when the ball is bouncing on the table, you can see that it's a bit slower than in real life. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Alex working on a nice lead here in this first game. Ooh. Oh, another fouled serve. 
But then again, we saw that in real life from Peter Khan as well. He did foul a couple of serves in the, the real life portion of this match. Ooh, that was a nice throw, Barry. Alex. He's got game points here. Oh, great finish from Peter Khan, though. Three more to defend, though. And there's one of them. Putting the pressure on. Oh, but the block is just... His racket was too flat. Yeah, uh, it's just this famous spin from Alex's <laughs> forehand. Mm. Very, very hard to control and hard to read yeah, as well. Yeah, it's too much to handle for many people. So Alex now has a chance to end this contest if he can win this game. But he is down three to nothing at the moment. Both players seeming to have a little bit of trouble with the length in VR compared to real life. A few more balls sailing long, I feel, in situations where you kind of suspect they might not have done in real life. Oh, what a great rally. Wow. Whew. Still the advantage with Pitakan, though. Up 5-1. Oh, and adjusts to the net there very well, but can't quite make the second shot after that. Wow. Oh, another great attack. Pitakan's definitely got some of those third ball attacks just absolutely locked, hasn't he? Yes, and now he moved Alex pretty well. Mm, and yeah, he has a big lead now. He does. I too. It's, it's growing. As must his confidence be, I imagine. Oh, good adjustments from both players as the net came into play there. Oh, but in the end, Alex catches an edge. Pitakan marches on 9 2 now. The net not so friendly that time. You see, he's starting to feel those top spins and loops now. Much better accuracy than early in this wow, VR match. Wow! This on the table. Whoa! How did that come back in? That moved so much. I was honestly thinking that it would just go out. Yeah, it didn't look like it had a chance, and Pitakan ties things up one game apiece. You can see he must have a decent uh, play space for VR as well. He walked out almost to the uh, the barriers there. Maybe they play in the same space that they were playing ah, in real life. Ah, perhaps. Maybe. Yeah, it could be. Ooh. Another slow start for Alex here. He'll be keen not to drop this first game in VR. He'll take it to a deciding VR match. But Pitakan is uh, putting in a shift here. Very good forehand by Alex. Very, very good forehand. Oh, just a whiff there from Pitakan, unfortunately. But he is still ahead. Another whiff there, but again, he seems to be very nicely settled into those loops now. He's definitely found his range. Very few of them going long like they were earlier. Oh, and there's that foul serve again. Come back to bite him. And this early lead that he had is starting to evaporate. Oh, really nice play from Alex there. He holds his hand up. Did he catch the net perhaps or something? Not entirely sure. Difficult to see. Yes. What a rally. Oh, wow. And Alex manages to come out on top. A couple of great defensive lobs from him there. Ooh. That looked like it was going to be a great backhand down the line, but just not high enough. Well, that one worked out. <laughs> Courtesy of the net that time. Nice push there, using the angle to make it more difficult. 
Oh, but just whiffs on that one there. Looks like he missed at the top of his racket. Alex two points ahead here and two points away from victory. Oh, that one so nearly crept over. Oh, and now Alex has two match points. Ooh, tried to finish in style, but it didn't work. Yeah. Now we have a let. Tense stuff. Oh, great finish from Pitakan when he needed it. Tie break time. Not like we've not seen it before. This is it. Is it going to be another deep tie break? <laughs> I hope so. This is really entertaining. Ooh, Ooh, you can see he's not happy. Yeah, frustration from Pitagon. This is match point for Alex. Ooh, great rally. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fantastic yeah. stuff. Pitagon digging deep, keeping the aggression up. Ooh. Oh, was that a let? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was confused. They played so many shots, I didn't think it was a let. <laughs> oh, oh, so unlucky catching the top of the net there. Once again, Alex has match point. Oh, and he gets it done. Oh, muy bien. Qué rabia. En todo el momento que tú coges tu ritmo. Muy difícil pararte. Sí, lo que me da mucha rabia porque oh, bolas tontas al final. Sí, sí. sí, sí. Pero o sea, me, me haces más daño. A ver, cuando atacas me haces daño porque cuando atacas de derecha es casi imparable. Pero, pero luego en medio del punto con tonterías de estas así, porque sí. aunque llegue muchas veces hago así y a la red. Sí, yo creo que, y vale, yo lo que noté en, en vida real también es que mi, mi drive es demasiado rápido. Entonces tengo que ralentarlo un poco y así mm. el efecto y todo, el ángulo no cambio tanto en mi goma tampoco porque es muy blanda. Y en el juego, aunque la curva no cambia, también noto que cuando no llegas muy, muy claro, mejor como hacer tu golpe más... Más suave. Eh, más suave. Y creo que si lo haces tú, y, y ya llevaría muchísimo efecto y ya, ya acaba el punto. Sí, sí, en, en algunas bolas... Claro, así hace la misma cosa, pero un poco más controlado y ya está. En algunas bolas lo hago, pero a veces cuando llego muy forzado no, no me da tiempo a pensarlo. No, exacto. Vas, vas con lo que siempre has hecho, ¿no? Es normal. Sí, exacto. Pero bueno, este partido ha, ha sido chulo. <risa> más que el otro. Sí, sí. sí. Sí, sí, algunos puntos. Aunque no he hecho un punto de detrás, de, de pero también está bien, porque la gente piensa siempre que no pueden acabar el punto sí. aquí cuando, cuando defendes, pero lo has hecho bien. Sí. Y tu colocación y todo eso ya es como olvidar. Ya, ya, ya sé que si tú entras, al menos al principio, eran puntos directos por colocación, que no llego. Sí. Sí. Tu saque y todo eso sí que falta aún. Sí, más o saque... Eh... El resto, right. o sea, que me falta aún un poco. Eh, me he jugado, sí. porque antes era horrible, pero... Sí, pero esto también, si el juego cambia un poquito más, ya, ya sería más, más fácil hacerlo. Pero noto que te mueves mejor también como vida real. Eres más sí. rápido, ¿no? Es que estoy mejor físicamente. Cuando viniste, sí. llevaba mucho sin entrenar y ahora he estado he hecho un par de campeonatos, he entrenado y estoy mejor. 